Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at the label object. A label is pretty simple. It allows you to display some text so you can use it as some sort of informative text so if you're doing some sort of tutorial within your game or application. You could also use it to display a score for example whether that score is getting updated so in-game or whether it's a game of a score etc. That's the sort of stuff you can do with a label. So if we just go to our object section widgets, drag on a label by default it puts the text text label in there and it also has a default font okay so let's go over to the feature section and show you the different properties we've got custom size before I select that if we scroll up the size is grayed out and the reason for this is cause if we just put some text here I can, hello world this is awesome as you can see it automatically changes changes the size of the label but if I do a custom size and scroll up and change the width of it to 120 change the height of it to 56 as you can see it starts cutting off words and you may want that you may only want to be able to show an X amount of characters or a X only want to take up a certain amount of your screen because let's say if the user's typing something and it's long, maybe it's a message, maybe you're doing some sort of messaging application or you've got a messaging feature in there, you don't want the text to be taking up the entire screen. So if you could just take up a little bit and maybe they can click on it and view more, that would be the ideal situation. So I'm actually going to undo all of this. So I can't remember what the values were again. I know this was something like 241. And if we scroll down, so I thought that's a poop then, that's dudes. So, yeah, you can easily change the size like so custom size and not custom size. Animation, you can uh, do animation with it. And uh, we've already shown you what you can do with the text property. It basically allows you to change what's inside it. And what we're going to also show you is the horizontal line and the vertical line. So if we were to do horizontal line center, as you can see, the entire thing is now centered. And obviously you can do right as well. And you can also center it vertically. You might be thinking not really moving and the reason it's not moving is because the size is very tight so if we do a custom size put the height at something I don't know 200 as you can see there's a lot of room at the bottom of the text and if I do center it's now centered and now that's at the bottom you can change the font style so I can change the color so if I wanted more of a reddish color I can go for a red color like so, it's a simple hexadecimal, but if you just put it back to white, you get the default color, which is well, white. Change the font size, 24, and you can put a custom font file, you suppose ttf and .ttc. I have a font file on my desktop, so I can show you how that works. If you open it by this and it hasn't imported it, it or it hasn't been imported then it will be imported whilst doing this little process right here and as you can see the text has changed. So you can enable shadow as well. So if I were to put red shadow, as you can see there is a shadow below all the individual characters and what we're also going to put is you can do a shadow offset so 10 as you can see it allows you to move the shadow more away from the actual text i think minus two and two worked really well it was subtle but effective and you can enable outline as well so this this creates an outline on it so i'm going to put i'm going to put green so you can easily see <laughs> it doesn't look very nice but Again, it's all about experimentation. You can change the outline size. I'm going to go five. That looks quite nasty right there. <laughs> so I'm just going to change that back, do enable outline. What I'm also going to do is reset this so it's no longer using our TTF file. And as you can see, only TTF fonts are format, I mean, supported. So even if you use a .ttc font file, which is supported, you can't do an outline on it. So that's just something to bear in mind. And for the most part, yeah, that is everything that you're going to need to know with labels. One thing to bear in mind, 
first thing we covered was this custom size which allows you to change the size right here by actually dragging here and changing this size this isn't the same as changing this because as you can see it hasn't changed this actually changes the scale as you can see the scale gets changed so that's just something to bear in mind that's not the same as the custom size so labels are cool you're most likely going to be using them in most of your games we haven't shown you how to actually access labels in code because Coca Studio doesn't support that. You have to do that in your project. We have a link in the description to our Coca API guide which shows you how to actually access a label in code and modify it however you want. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php There'll be a link in the description, description so you don't have to remember it. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.